Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. Welcome back to Kingdom. We are definitely going to attempt to escape from this land in this episode. Unfortunately, there's a high chance that we may be overrun and die as well because we're past day 20 and dang it I don't even have enough for to start repairing the boat so we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow but we're past day 20 and the dreaded flying wraith things have started to appear so I'm worried the next blood moon is gonna kill us so we're just gonna have to see if we can make it And there's going to be a lot of jump cuts because I'm going to have to wait for each day to go by to get more money. Alright. Gotta hurry and get it. Get the boat repaired as soon as possible. But even once it's repaired, like last time, we're going to have to wait for the boat to sail all the way to the pier before I can take off. Good. Workers are coming to repair it. <laughs> Man, it seems like every episode, new music I've never heard before plays. I love the audio in this game. Maybe it's like a season thing, because the trees in the background are like turning fall colors. Is it fall now? That's cool. I want to, I'm going to check on the, to check on the portal, make sure it's not coming back or something. If it's, if it's coming back, we're in trouble. Doesn't look like it, but there's still something you can do here. I'm, once I get the boat fixed and it starts sailing, I might try seeing what happens if you upgrade that destroyed portal. I'm very curious to know what it does. So since we destroyed the portal on that side, we can only be attacked from this side. So if I ever have any spare money, I might spend it upgrading the defenses on this side to help make sure we make it. But first I gotta get the boat repaired. Sorry this episode is going to be a little grindy, I'm just collecting money each day and repairing the boat, but like I said, we may have some action when the monsters start attacking. Oh man, I just realized it's a lot different repairing the boat this time. Ooh, I do not remember it taking this much to make the frame. 
I think it's going to cost a lot more repairs this time. Let's watch what they do. Because all I remember was when I first repaired the boat, it already had a frame. And we just had to make the, the outer covering, the hull. But now we're rebuilding the frame. This could take forever. I may have to pace myself and build up our defenser, build up our defenses while also slowly building the boat because it might take so long that we're going to have to survive some blood moons. I'd really like to upgrade this guy, the archer nest, and maybe the wall here, so that hopefully we can survive the next blood moon. Oh, I hope it's not tonight. Uh-oh, I'm pretty sure it's... Is it Blood Moon? Yeah, I think it's Blood Moon. There's something coming. Maybe? Yeah, it's definitely Blood Moon. At least we know the attack will come from this side. Uh -uh. Nothing is coming yet. <gasps> Here they come. Uh, that's a lot of them. Worst thing is gonna be if a flying ray. Oh no, it's gonna get some of my guys. Whoa, is it coming after me? Go away! Go away, evil! Be gone! Away! Well, it hasn't taken anybody yet, that's good. Maybe it won't take anybody. Yay! Yay, we didn't lose anybody to the Wraith. Don't know why it didn't just swoop down and take someone. Maybe it can't if it's taking a lot of damage? I don't know, but that went very well. Yay, we made it through another Blood Moon. In that case, I'm just gonna keep... Gonna keep repairing the ship full force. And hopefully we should get it done before the next one. Yay, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it after all. Ah. All that money seems to hardly do very much at all. Only one worker? Did we actually lose somebody last night? Hope not. Maybe that wraith swooped down and got somebody when I wasn't looking. Oh well. Oh, okay, there was another guy. Good. I love this feeling of having a well-established castle that we can just defend and survive at. Even though we're getting attacked, things are still stable, and we should be able to make it. I just, I just like this feeling of... I don't know, it kind of feels like I, I own a castle and that we're... Holding out, holding out against the darkness and everything. 
surviving here inside the walls. It's pretty cool. I definitely recommend this game. Someone was asking me on PSN if it's a good game, and I said, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I definitely like this game. I honestly have no complaints about it. I thought it was going to be too difficult, but it hasn't been so far. Wait, why doesn't he have... Did I forget to pay the merchant yesterday? What? Oh, no. Ah, oh, dang it. I forgot to pay the merchant. Oh, stupid. How could I forget that? That's the most important thing. Oh. Here I was saying how happy I was, and then I made a stupid mistake. Ugh. Whoa, it's starting to snow. Oh no, I thought I hope things aren't gonna become difficult in the winter. That's worrying. Oh man, I'm so stupid. How could I forget to pay my merchant? Man, I've got to stop making stupid mistakes like that. <clears throat> Little mistakes like that can cost you everything. Here comes another attack. I'm sure we'll be fine though. definitely winter now. All the trees have lost their leaves and it snows every day. I don't know if the seasons really change anything. We don't have any farmers, but my people don't seem to be starving or anything. So I don't think it's that kind of resource management game where you have to make sure the people are supplied with food or whatever. But I think farmers just get you more money and stuff. I think everything, all the infrastructure for your castle is just to get more money. None of it is to supply your people with basic needs. They, they seem to just get all that themselves somehow. Like the hunters kill deer, which I guess feed the people and give me money. And... If you have farmers, they grow food and also give you money. <laughs> but there's no real, you know, it's not like a city builder where the people have to have a supply of food and all that. So I don't know what effect the winter's gonna have. I don't think it's gonna, like, cause a food shortage or anything. It's mainly just the aesthetic quality of seasons passing and you know, just having a general passage of time. It is day 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, sorry, no, 28. Ooh, 28. Ooh, man, what's gonna happen at day 30?
This game is almost starting to remind me of Animal Crossing. So, of course, there was no combat or monsters in Animal Crossing, but you kind of maintained a life and you had seasons and all that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just drawing a weird comparison for some reason. I think we're almost done with the frame of the ship, finally. Then we gotta make the whole the hull. Well, it's day thirty. Oh, by the way, I, I think I figured out what the uh, the shrine the shrine I upgraded over there, the shrine that looks like an archer. I think when you have higher upgrades for that shrine, you get better armor for your archers. See, this guy's got like a silver helmet with a blue outfit, and then the hunters don't have any armor, and then there's another guy that has like full metal armor. So I think that's what the shrine does. It The, the higher upgrades you have on the shrine when you hire a archer, the better armor they get when when they are hired, I think. That's my guess anyway. Yay, we're starting on the hull. Awesome. So I'll show you what I mean. This shrine right here. I think when I upgraded this shrine to maximum and then I hired archers in the last episode, it, it gave me new archers with full metal armor and they're over on the other side of my of my castle so we've got this guy with just a metal helmet and then over here we have a couple archers that guy just has metal helmet this see this guy has full silver armor and so does that guy so I think they're better equipped because I had a better um, shrine upgrade for them. Uh oh, blood moon music. Let's hope we can get through this one okay. Yep, it's day 30. I really hope it doesn't ramp up a lot tonight. Whoa. <laughs> that was weird. They were creeping up slowly. Two flying wraiths. Dang it. That's not good. No, they're getting our guys. Uh oh -huh, no. Oh no. What? My my crown? Oh no, there's a giant, giant guy. Oh no. Go away, go away, it's daytime. You have to leave us alone, I think. Go away. Oh man, oh no. Ah. How do we get rid of this big thing? It's killing everybody. Oh my gosh, it can make it can make little ghouls. 
Oh, great. Oh, dang. I think we're doomed. There's nothing I can do. It's daytime. This guy's not going away. What am I supposed to do? Ah. Uh... What? They went through the wall? What the heck? Oh, I'm doomed. It's all over. I don't think they're gonna stop chasing after me. Oh well, it may be all over, folks. If those monsters catch up to me, they'll take my crown. And I'll be done for. Ah. <sighs> and my castle's decimated. I have no money. <sighs> no money and all my vassals are probably gone now. Oh, uh, we were so close. If I hadn't messed up a couple times on making money, I probably could have made got the ship built in time. But I just kept messing up. If I go back now, the monsters are probably going to get me. <sighs> Unless they left, which I doubt. But everything's in shambles now and I have no money. Ah... Uh... We gotta go see if there's any money left on the ground. Ah, uh, here they come. I'm dead. It's over. It's over. It's all over. Uh -huh. I lost. No crown, no queen. Made it to day 31. Ah. Uh. Oh. Cool, I can restart the, the land. Sweet. Cool. So that's what... I guess maybe that's what unlocking the maps does. So I can restart... at the second land. Oh. Do I start as a different person, I wonder? Raw Fury. <laughs> Yay, I'm a, I'm a male now. That's cool. The queen is dead. Long live the queen. There, there's, there's, that's the ghost of the queen that just died. Well, looks like we're starting over on this land. I'm probably going to play through this land until I get to about where I was last time. And then I will pick back up where I died and get the ship rebuilt so might be a few days before I do another episode because I've got to play through this land again but for now I have been Mac thank you for joining me for a day and I'll catch you on the next day that I am Mac